Cora. Yes. Uh, wow. I wonder what he did to end up in a prison like this. It's like Azkaban. This is crazy. Oh my God. She's insane. These people are insane. They are really good. It's really scary. Like. They're the best vendors I think we've seen thus far. Damn, what a great introduction for a new villain. Finally, where are they? A city called Zaofu, the home of the Metal Clan. You know the place? Uh, never been. She does. <laughs> oh, that's me! That's so messed up, Lynn. Why would you do that? Oh my God, it looks like Oz. It looks like Oz and Switzerland made a city together, you know? You should be right at home, Beifong. Hmm. There's a reason why she's not excited to be here. We're gonna learn more about Lynn in this episode. And this is Da. He's a new airbender too, like you guys. <laughs> oh, this guy, yeah. Hello, my name is Yoru. I heard this was the place to come if you're a new airbender. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh-uh, that's Sahir. He shaved his head. He shaved his head. That's Sahir. Because I remember he had a scar on his eyebrow. See, this is the problem with advertising that you're gathering airbenders, because he knows where to go. She used to visit from time to time, oh. but years ago she left to wander the world in oh. search of enlightenment. Really? No one has seen her since. Is that why Lynn has a hard time with this place? Does it remind her of like her mother leaving her or something? I mean, cause like seriously, what's not to love? This is like stunning. This is the prettiest place we've been so far. Allow me to introduce the matriarch of the metal clan, Su Yin. Please call me Su. I bet Su and Lynn were friends cause they look like the same age. I'm a man of the Cora, why did you lie when Ai Wei asked if there was anyone else with you? What? Oh my God, how did they know? How did you know I was lying? I am a truth seer. Oh! When people lie, their heart rate and breathing increase. He can tell when they're lying! Thanks to Ai Wei, there are no secrets in our city. Oh god, that's kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I like that, Ai Wei. Lin's here. I would love to say hello. She didn't want to say hello! Lin never told you about me. No? Why would she? I'm Lin's sister. Oh, shit. And her, her niece is the airbender. Oh my god. Why didn't you ever tell me you had a sister? Half sister. Oh, sh So what? We're blood, Lynn, and after 30 years, the least you could do is say hello. I have nothing to say to you. Interesting, we got the hardened cop, closed off and detached, and then the sensitive dancer, hippie who collects meteorites. Man, so Toph got around, huh? Toph had multiple partners. I can't believe you're really here. You are so amazing. It's great to meet you, Opal. Opal, what a pretty name! Thanks. I'm Bolin. Ah! But uh, you already knew that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> pretty girl who has a crush on Bolin! Why do you have such a problem with your sister? She seems nice. Lynn doesn't want to share why. There's gotta be a reason. I gotta know. I just had a major breakthrough on the tram station remodel. Well, don't let me stand in the way of inspiration. You're the best. That was my brilliant architect of a husband, Batar, and our oldest son. I wonder if Lynn hates her sister because she's jealous. Like, she wishes she had what her sister has. You want to talk about what's really bugging you because I'm right here. Yeah, my god. Nope, she didn't. <gasps> Varric! What are you doing here? Great question, Asami. I mean, what are any of us doing? No, what are you doing here, specifically? Food for thought. <laughs> no, 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 it's not a, no, we mean physically and we mean you. I'm trying to keep the Avatar safe and you're harboring a criminal? Oh. People change. You haven't. Uh, oh. Lynn! Oof. There's some tension here. Because mom grew up in such a strict house, she gave us all the freedom in the world. Oh, that kind of makes sense. But she didn't give you guidance. But we both ended up fighting for mom's attention. Yeah. I was more of a rebel. Mom wasn't too happy with how either of us turned out. <sighs> That's sad. Your mom wanted you guys to live your own life and have freedom, but yet she wasn't happy with how either of you turned out. That's f***ed up. Where did you say you were from? A small village up north. You've probably never heard of it. Wait, Zahir. 
Oh, Kaya. Oh, Kaya. I really think it would have been better to just play your card slowly, but maybe not. He's too good. No. He's too good. Oh, God. Sorry I won't be joining you at the Northern Air Temple. I'm afraid I have other plans. <sighs> at least he didn't do anything to Tenzin's children. So he's not going to go find Tenzin. He was just trying to see if he could gather intel on where the Avatar was. I guess I was kind of sad that you didn't want to get to know me. Oh, Lynn. Believe me, I know my family can be a little crazy and overwhelming sometimes, but I would love it so much if you would be a part of it. Oh. Get out. Lynn, what the hell, man? Sorry, did I say something wrong? Get out! I think it's, I think she's jealous. I genuinely think that she wishes she could have what her sister has. I asked her to talk to you because I thought it would help you snap out of whatever funk you're in. It's not a funk, Cora. She's bitter and depressed. Sue's right. You're never gonna change. You're always gonna be a bitter, lonely woman. That's, it. oh, you just struck to her core, Cora. That, oh, I think that's exactly what she's sad about, yeah, oh. She really wants the life that her sister has. Oh, I feel bad for her. She's just taken the tactic of like shutting her family out so she doesn't have to be reminded of the joy that she's missing out on. But it's sad because she could still have some of that joy. Like even though you don't have, you know, a husband and your own kids, you can still be like a fun aunt and still have family in your life. I think that's better than not, but maybe the reminder was just too painful. The Avatar is in danger, and these two knuckleheads are just standing around chit-chatting. Don't worry. Zalfu is the most secure city in the world. Oh, that doesn't matter to Zaheer, I think is his name? That doesn't matter. He can get in anywhere. He crazy. You need to relax. She does need to relax. I'm fine! No, you're not. Mm -hmm. If you don't deal with your repressed feelings, there will be severe consequences to your health. Yeah, she needs therapy. I'm not interested in talking about my feelings. When grow up. Here. Try it. Okay. I really would love it if she's just not effortlessly good at this, like she is at everything else. Cause she's always, oh, he's watching. Yeah, why don't you just admit that you want to learn how to metal bend? Why are you like saying no? Want to give it a shot? Nah, it's okay. I mean, only like one earth bender in a hundred can metal bend. Is that why he hasn't said yes to it? That's why he hasn't said yes, he's afraid of failure. I'll just stay and watch. Bolin, just Try it. Come on. He's probably going to be good at it. She's just naturally good at it, huh? It. I'm metal bending. Wow. You picked that up really, really quick. Yeah. One in a hundred. Well, she is the avatar, to be honest, Bolin. I mean, she should be able to bend everything. At the same time, I wish she would struggle <laughs> a little bit more. Everything's so easy for her. It's kind of annoying. Smooth. Oh. Nice job, girl. Leave them alone. Huh? Oh no. Sue? Oh no. That's pretty traumatic. Oh boy. Ah! Oh, the scars from her sister. I didn't even think about the fact that she's got this scar on her face and like it could have come from family. Oh my God, I like wasn't even thinking about that. Holy <laughs> damn. Sue, you need to leave the city as soon as possible. You'll go stay with your grandparents. Lynn, give me the arrest report. She's gonna destroy the arrest report, huh? You can't cover this up. There were witnesses. I'm the chief of police. I can't have a daughter in jail. Wow, what a messed up family. <laughs> You're going to feel a bit fragile, so it's probably best if you take it easy for a little while. She doesn't do very well with that. I don't need to rest. I need to do something I should have done a long time ago. Oh, God. She's gonna go try to arrest her sister? Um, I've been thinking, and I'd like to try to learn metal bending. Might be too late for you. Lynn's coming to arrest her sister. <laughs> Lynn, relax. You're the one who hasn't changed. You're still a bitter loner who only cares about herself. No wonder Tenzin ended things with you years ago. Oh, that, oh God, that, that's the wrong thing to say. My scope's 
sculpture. Oh, that's mean. Not his sculpture. I mean, actually, it's... it looks kind of better now. I had a feeling he was going to say that. I had a feeling he was going to say that. Ooh, look at Opal. <gasps> Lynn, Jesus Christ. She's like dying over here. She got to grow up. My God, this woman is like so emotionally stunted. There's a part of me that wants to go, but I don't want to upset my mom. When I was younger, all I wanted to do was please my mother. I became a police chief because I thought it would make her happy. And it didn't. Nothing made her happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why you just got to do whatever you want to do. Don't make the same mistakes I did. I, I guess all she needed to do was rest after that acupuncture session. And she just has expedited emotional growth. Can we move on? I'd love for you to be a part of my life again. There's plenty of space for you in the house and the kids would love having their aunt around. God, her sister is really so forgiving and sweet. How about for now? I just promise not to show up at your house and attack you again. She could be anywhere. We'll find her. It's just a matter of time. Oh my God, what? Is he searching? She's with the Metal Clan. How does he do that? Is he because of the airbending capabilities he earned? He can like now tap into the spirit world and see stuff? I don't know, how did that That's really awful. We should go down there. I wanna fly one of those bisons. Uh-oh. We might get in trouble. Come on, let's have some fun. We'll be back before anyone realizes we're gone. I guess it will be all right. Uh-oh, he's a bad influence on her. Look, baby bisons. Oh, they're so cute. Let's go see the baby. Oh, dude, that's like the worst idea. Yeah, he's such an idiot. Oh my God. Kai, get out of there. Why did he drop the stick? Dude, you need to fly now. Oh my God, she had to save you. Well, I've been training for a long time. Then why don't you have tattoos like an airbending master? My dad says I'm not a master yet. You can do everything your dad can. Plus, you have all those spirity powers. Spirity powers. If anyone's a master, you are. Oh my god, he is just, his, he's got the riz, man. Look at this little kid. When the head is shaved, an airbender is able to feel the wind around him. Oh, is that why? It is like becoming a soldier. They're shaving their heads now. I'm not sure I want to shave my head. That's fine. Shaving your head is a personal choice. Wait, oh! what? Anyone else? He didn't know it was a personal choice. Oh, this poor dude, he didn't know. Remember, airbenders move like the wind. Yeah! Oh, we're throwing watermelons at them. What the f It's like a Tough mutter up in here. This is like an added layer of difficulty that I don't think they were expecting. Never feel the stinging rash cactus. Oh, he's really good. Oh God, oh my God, never mind. Jesus Christ. When do you think I can get my tattoos? What brought this on? I was just talking to Kai and he was asking me, so. Kai, what does he know about when you should get tattoos? Oh God. I can airbend just as well as you. I know everything about our culture and history and I have a stronger connection with the spirits than you ever will. She does, true. It's your own class. Ooh. He just can't believe that I'm grown up now and I don't need him telling me what to do like one of his recruits. I know something that'll cheer you up. Leave the baby bison alone. This is not a good idea. Where are the babies? Mm-hmm. Oh no, this is not good. Did poachers come get the bison? Is this like a poacher camp? Must be living up at the temple. He's wearing a bison fur vest. He looks like a poacher. We'll take them to Ba Sing Se. Oh no, they just got out of there. Oh yeah, they were capturing the baby bison. Oh no. The Earth Queen and her fancy friends pay big money for bison steaks and other weird meat. The Earth Queen's horrible. Jinora's in trouble. We have to go get her. Shouldn't Master Tenzin be dealing with this? I don't want to get into trouble. Master Tenzin isn't here. It's up to us. Uh-oh. Tenzin would probably be pissed if you were bringing the kids, but you know, this will probably make Tenzin realize he's done a good job training you guys. Looks like they're getting ready to leave. We'll have to move fast. I don't know if I'm ready to get in a fight with some bison rustlers. Yes, you are. Look at your bald head. You're totally ready. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, he felt it because of his bald head. Yes! You should be bald as, a, as an airbender. <laughs> he just 
just yelling, yeah! <laughs> oh no, Janora's in there still. Kai's gonna rescue her and it's gonna be romantic and cute. Nice. Oh God. Oh my God, I love how we're all just attacking the truck like Janora's not on it. Like she could get seriously hurt by this. Kai, that's enough. An airbender never attacks a defenseless opponent. But that was very good technique. Aww, good, 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 good. Without my shaved head, I never could have dodged that net. I really felt it coming at me. Aww, aww, that's cute. I liked that moment, that was cute. Does that mean I can get my airbender tattoos? It's hard for me to believe that my little girl has grown up enough to have her tattoos. But I promise I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Cute. Very cute. It's interesting that she's not just leaving to go to the Northern Air Temple with Korra and all of them. Like, cause when, wouldn't they go back we'll there? Head out first thing in the morning. Yeah, we'll head out first thing in the morning. Why didn't Opal just go with them? Like, I don't understand. We're sending her off early by herself? Like what? She could have had friends for the journey. Like why? Maybe cause they're gonna continue looking for more airbenders. Uh oh, I bet this is Zaheer. Wait, those are four people running. No, those are, that's Zaheer. And all, yep, there we go. <gasps> what? What's going on? Pabu, sleep. No, oh my God. Pabu knows what's up. Oh no. Naga. No! Oh no, they thought about Naga. Oh my God, they were so efficient. They were so, it was easy for them. They were so fast, it was easy. It's not playtime right now, okay? We are seriously going Dude. to have a talk. What the heck? They got Cora! They got Cora! Let her go! Uh oh. You guys, I'm sorry to say you're no match for this crew at all. No one is a match. So much for the element of surprise. Backup plan. It almost worked. It's totally thanks to Pabu. Oh God, the backup plan is blowing up the house. Wonderful. We have you surrounded. It's over. Release the avatar. No. Oh, yep. There we go. The molten lava thing. Fun. So they they hey, did that. That but guy's lava bending. That's awesome. It is really awesome. It's not good, but it's really cool. Oh, he lava bent everything else around them, just not what they were standing on. That's how he did it. And these guys are too good. She's a combustion bender. If one of you can stun her, her powers will be knocked out temporarily. Bolin can land a shot. With the rock. Yeah! I do? You can do it, Bolin. It's the rock. Just throw a little pebble at her, at her, at her third eye. All in time. All in time. Oh, no. Too, nope. Oh boy. You gotta keep doing it. Nice. Nice. Oh God. No. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, guys, someone do something. Nice. We failed! Man, I actually didn't think that was possible. They're so OP, I was like, shocked. Oh, now they're gone. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be the tough part, is catching them again. It would seem they had some inside knowledge of Zaofu. They must have been working with someone. Yeah, who would they be working with? What is your full name? Where were you last oh, night? Oh, right, because he can tell if they're, he's the perfect interrogator. Damn. What was I doing last night? Same thing I always do. Yeah, I was wondering, like, what about this guy? I also feel like if anybody was gonna outsmart the truth seeker, it would be Varric, because he's so confident in the way he talks. Even if he is lying, he doesn't sound any different. Do you have any knowledge of the people who tried to kidnap the Avatar? No. Is he lying? He's lying. I, I don't know, I'm telling you, I didn't help them. You're a traitor to the entire clan. I suggest we search his place. Is he actually lying? He seems really innocent. Has a truth seeker ever been wrong? It looks like it's from them. Team assembled, ready to rendezvous. Let's go confront him with this evidence right now. No, let's give him a little time to sweat it out. He will talk eventually. Wow. What? Yeah, now I'm sus of the truth seeker. Mako just got sus of him and I agree. I think the guard is innocent. That guard is only 18 years old and has lived in Zaofu his entire life. Zahir and his gang have been in prison for more than 13 years. 
I don't know, but we all saw the evidence. What if it was planted there? Honestly, it makes sense that Mako... Oh, Varric, get out of here! No one wants to see you anymore! It makes sense that Mako would be the first one to be sus of there being planted evidence and it being a conspiracy since he did have evidence planted at his own apartment and was set up by Varric. Maybe he's just the fall guy. But for who? For the only person who can truly keep a secret in this city. Ai Wei. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Imagine how bad it would be if Ai Wei was a corrupt one since he's the, the interrogator and the only one who can, you know, see if people are lying. I already feel like I'm a lot more invested in this episode than I have in the last few. It's just this story feels a lot more compelling and in line with the antagonist, so I'm a lot more interested. We came here because things weren't adding up and we thought you might have some answers. Sit. I like how what Cora said was like technically true without revealing too much information. This is tricky. Can I weigh bend metal? Can he bend it all? I forgot. You have no idea what is coming for you, Avatar. Oh, yep, he's a bender. God damn it. I wish, you know, Bolin really needs to learn how to bend metal, although she can. Oh no, it's gonna be locked. Oh, it's not. A bomb. Where is he then? Oh, she protected them, that's good. Asami, are you okay, girl? Is she fine? This is where Zaheer got in and out. Ai Wei was the traitor. I trusted him. Oh. Get all available guards to search the mountainside and find out where this tunnel exits immediately. Oh, that, I'm glad Lynn is trying to comfort her sister a little bit instead of just blaming her because Lynn is so like closed off and like doesn't show her vulnerability very often. Just a simple touch of the shoulder means so much from her. <laughs> Sue, you really think Naga could track Ai Wei? Oh. Then here. Oh no. Packed with supplies by the East Gate. Oh no. But you said- I said what Lin wanted to hear and I bought you guys some time. Oh, Go. No. I'll deal with Lin in the morning. Oh, Lin's gonna be mad at you, Sue. Lin's gonna be mad at you. Thanks. Thanks for letting me go after my killers. <laughs> Oh, damn! Okay, this episode was a lot better. Now the hunted becomes the hunter as Korra searches for answers. Yeah, there's a lot more suspense and like raising of the stakes going on now that seem tied in with the actual antagonist of the story. So I'm, in, I'm enjoying this a lot. Woo! Feels like we're in like Mexico or something. This is a unique climate I feel like we haven't seen in a while. Naga found something. Good job, girl. Oh, sorry, I forgot to bring treats, but... Oh, what? <laughs> Poor Naga, yeah. Poor Naga, she works so hard. It looks like he's going to meet Zaheer at sundown at a place called Jai Bao's Grove. I say we stake out his room, and when he leaves for this meeting, we follow him. Oh, God. Straight to Zaheer. This is not good. Y'all are not evenly matched against Zaheer and his gang. Like, this is not gonna go well. <laughs> We're just walking into a trap, essentially. It's over, Ai Wei. Where's... What? He's in the spirit world. I'm going in after him. Oh boy. I wonder if she can... She, can she do it on her own now? Yeah, she's good at it, great. She doesn't need help from Janora anymore. So he is going into the spirit world. And that's how he knew she was in metal, in the metal city, because he told him in the spirit world. Oh my God. I assure you, no one knows anything about us. No, you are the loose end. To here! Oh, he's gone now. Oh, just threw him into the pit of despair! Oh, the fog of lost souls, oh no. I do feel kind of bad for Ai Wei. That's a rough way to go. We are part of a secret society dedicated to restoring freedom to the world. We are the Red Lotus. Red Lotus? Are you related to the White Lotus? We are what the White Lotus was meant to be. They became nothing but glorified bodyguards who served corrupt nations. It doesn't explain why you tried to take me when I was a kid. That was Unalak's idea. Of course. What? Your uncle was a horrible dude. Is it surprising? Avatar Korra, Misty Palms in. That's not fair. He should not be able to do both. What the f How is he so good at the spirit world? So all along, you and my uncle planned to use me to open the portals and release Vatu? 
That's why you tried to take me when I was a kid? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you wanted to brainwash me so I'd do whatever you wanted. No, Korra. All I wanted was to show the Avatar a better path for the world. How is releasing Vatu a better path for the world? She also opened the spirit portal like she gave you part of what you wanted. You kept the spirit portals open, but why stop there? Bringing the spirits back should only be the beginning. Well then stop trying to kill her maybe. The nations and governments is as foolish as keeping the human- Oh, he wants a one world kind of situation, huh? Don't you think the world would be better off if leaders like them were eliminated? Well, maybe we don't need to eliminate anyone. True freedom can only be achieved when oppressive governments are torn down. But that won't bring balance. It will throw the world into chaos. Exactly. The natural order is disorder. Oh, God. Yeah, get in the pool. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, she's bringing him out of the pool. I straight up thought she was gonna freeze the pool. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Asami could use you right now, Korra! If you do capture me, what are you gonna do with me? You'll have that answer soon enough. See you in the physical world. See here! Korra, just go. Go back to your body now. Oh my God. Oh no, they caught her. They got her all tied up. Zaheer didn't capture us. The Earth Queen's forces did. No. They're taking us back to Ba Sing Se. Oh my God. The Earth Queen's army snatched up the Avatar before I could. Oh, that's good. Although they have Mako and Bolin. Any use for these two. Uh-oh. Okay, it, you know what? I never thought I'd be happy for the intervention of the Earth Queen. <laughs> Great, we love to see it. A horrible, tyrannical queen. 